welcome to the lecture on the four pillars of a successful podcast. And as you know, my podcast has become quite successful in a short amount of time. And I've looked at what I'm doing and what other successful podcasters are doing, and I've broken it down into four pillars that make a successful podcast. Number one is high quality content, okay? It's the content that can't be ignored. Think about that. The content that can't be ignored. The content that must be heard. The content that you can't find anywhere else. It's the content that's full of meat. Less chatter, less peas, less less mashed potatoes, and it's full of filet mignon. It's full of red lobster, okay? Think about it that way. It's the content that really is fulfilling. It's full. It's it's packed. It's full of meat. It's the content that inspires. It's the content that actually solves problems. It's not two people just talking about a topic. You're solving a problem with your podcast. You're solving the complete problem. You're not even trying to upsell in your podcast. It's no, the problem is going to be solved in this episode. I'm not just going to talk and beat her on the bush. I'm going to go right into the center of this topic and we're going to dig deep and pull it all out and deliver it to you in my episode, in this podcast. So high quality content. Without that, none of this is going to work. Now, the next pillar is going to be consistency. Consistency. You say once a week, you say you're going to launch your podcast every Monday in the morning and you miss that. If you miss out just once, You're losing your consistency. You're losing your trust. It's obvious that you're just a one-man show in your office and you're trying to do this as a side business. You want to be consistent. You want to be a Fortune 500 company who is consistent and doesn't miss a beat. You say you want to do a a daily podcast, you better do a daily podcast. If you're going to do a bi-weekly podcast, you do a bi-weekly podcast and you publish at the same time every day. Okay, so make sure you pick something that you can really do and that you can stick with and be very consistent with, okay? It helps you establish authority in your space when you're very consistent. You know, giving someone a podcast episode, it's like when you open your phone and they see your episode being downloaded, it's like a gift. And they wanna see it every time that you say you're gonna launch your podcast episode, it should be there, okay? So consistency over a long period of time shows you're serious. And people are going to think about you and they're going to take you seriously. You're going, to be, you're going to see you as a Fortune 500 company. So it's going to establish authority in your space and it's going to establish trust with your audience. Okay. Now, number three, the third pillar is building relationships with your listeners and your guests. Very important. Very important. Without this, you're going to be fighting an uphill battle. Okay, you want to always give more value than you're asking for. Give more value all the time. Be thinking about how you can give, give, give. Okay, and Gary Vaynerchuk, it's jab, 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 right hook. Okay, otherwise, it's basically give, 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 ask. Okay, it's very important and it's very subtle. Okay, building your online platform needs to be done. That's the way, that's the platform that you're going to build relationships with. That's how people get in contact with you. That's how you communicate with your with your audience and your listeners. And it's how people are gonna, your guests are gonna come to your website and that's how they're gonna view you. Okay, it's how you establish that authority, but building relationships is so important. Okay, blogging consistently, getting those blog posts out, responding to your comments, building an email list and setting up an autoresponder so you're constantly just building those relationships with your listeners. Social media, so people can get in contact with you in a matter of seconds. Build those out. And I know it sounds like work, but that's what it takes to be a successful podcast is you need to have a platform that allows you to talk to and communicate with your listeners on a daily basis. Okay, having excellent communication between you, your listeners, and your guests. Always, always excellent communication, professional communication. Okay, always listen to your audience for the most part. Listen to your audience and then react. If, if you're hearing from a number of sources that you should have or do this or make this adjustment, then you need to do that. You need to do that. You need to listen to them. If it's just one person, it's way out, it's way out in left corner, just you know, consider it. But do what you gotta do. 
And building relationships is a vital component to the growth of your podcast. Okay. Also, the, the fourth pillar is going to be authenticity. Being authentic. Okay. Be yourself. There is no one else to be but yourself. Oscar Wilde. It's just so important to be yourself, especially as, a, as an artist. You want to find your own way. I will say... Go ahead and copy others when you're first starting out. Copy what I do. Copy what other successful podcasters do. But then uniquely make it your own. You must make it your own. And you must stop doing what others are doing and really just focus on what you want to do once you get the basics down and the fundamentals down. And that will apply with anything. So don't try to be someone else. Be yourself and find your own voice. Okay? Don't seek the approval of others. Set yourself free. And create the vision that you want to create. Okay? So those are the four pillars of a successful podcast. Creating high quality content. The best content that you can possibly create. And that, that also goes for your equipment and the software and your editing. But creating that content. that the, the content that people must have. The content that solves the problem right then and there. No fluff. Filet mignon. Consistency. You must be consistent. Every week, you say you're going to publish a podcast, publish every week and don't miss a beat. Okay? Building relationships with your listeners and your guests. It's how you're going to grow your podcast and grow your business. And being authentic is what people, is people, when you're authentic, people are going to resonate with who you are and it's why people are going to like you. And you're going to be so much happier when you're just doing what you want to do and it's uniquely yours. All right? I hope you're as excited as I am because those are the four pillars to a successful podcast and I think you're going to make an impact on a lot of people with these four pillars. I'll see you in the next lecture.